Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of DB Cast. And today's episode, I'll be reviewing Get Go Master 3 Hatchback. So let's dive straight to this video right now. Alright then, so here is guys the Master 3 Hatchback from Get Go itself. So one thing straight out of the bat you notice is, even though this is a standard category Get Go car, it does not have the Get Go decals at all, which is a bit weird. Normally I thought they would put it on, but I think for this car it doesn't have it. But, uh, another thing to take note is this car does has one small damage on its front bumper right here which is this to take note but other than that the car actually looks not that bad and also another thing is this is a hatchback so this definitely set it apart from the regular sedan version of the the Mazda 3 that Gato has in its fleet itself but other than that uh, I'll be showing you guys the trunk space right now before I show you guys the front of the car the back of the car there isn't really much changes to it other than maybe a a decrease in the headroom rise but other than that it is still the same itself like so yeah oh yeah and it looks like it got some saggy roof lining itself look like it is otherwise it's probably the hump from the structure itself so yeah either that either that or the, the roof lining sagging down itself so yeah but let me just show you guys the trunk space right now. all right then to access the trunk space very very simple just need to press on this lever right down below the master emblem and you'll be greeted with this which is trash left behind by other users itself which is seriously so inconsiderate itself so yeah but um i can't quote on whether the trunk space is decreased from it from the hatchback the sedan version but i'll probably put a comparison of i mean the tr the liters of trunk space you get for the this this high surf as well as the sedan version itself which is right here on the screen itself but and that that is probably it for this car wise if i could put this back properly yeah that's probably it for this car wise itself and if i'm not wrong if you want to have more space you could actually technically fold down the rear seat right here with the lever which is right here itself so yeah very very easy oh no press on it sorry not pull press on the button and it will just drop down itself all right then let me see how trunk headroom leg room rise is for this car one thing you definitely notice is your space is not that much itself because like what i mentioned earlier on you got this uh sloping roof liner from a hatchback to a sedan wise so it's definitely much more different compared to a sedan wise and i think another thing i just noticed sitting in the rear right here is i noticed the infotainment screen is different from the sedan itself so i think this is a i feel this is a much better trim level if you can call it of the master 3 itself because i don't think the regular get go master 3 sedan has that touch screen on the center itself as well as that silver button right down there as well itself but um i think where the controls look quite similar itself like, so i won't go too in depth about it but the, the driver zone is very very similar to the sedan wise itself so definitely won't be going through that if you was if you guys want to see my review of the front uh you can always check out my sedan uh, review at the end of this video itself like, so yeah but on that uh let me just show you guys some of the features which is for the entertainment screen wise so let me just jump to the driver's seat right now. Alright then, now let me just show you guys the front part of the Mazda 3 hatchback itself. And what are the difference to it? Well, the first thing mainly you notice is it does come with head-up head display, which the regular sedan does not come with. The next thing that it came with is uh, navigation itself. Normally, I think for the standard sedan Mazda 3 itself, you only, uh, they only come included with radio itself. There's no satellite navigation itself which is this big ass screen right here itself as well as a diff uh a dial two dials right here to control your volume which is right here itself and to adjust the if the whatever chip you have control on the infotainment itself and you also, you also got some shortcut keys on the, the car itself but this is one thing that it is another thing that the sedan doesn't come with itself uh i'm not too sure whether the climate control they did change in the sedan itself but if it does then there's a that's nothing different for the hatchback itself. The next thing that is different for the hatchback itself is it come included with uh, electronic seat, uh, which you guys can see right here itself, which you can adjust using the buttons itself. 
Uh, other than that, that is all for the, that's all so far I can notice for the front of the car itself lah. Uh, sunroof is still the same as you get for the sedan wise itself, so nothing really changed itself lah. So yeah, um, I think then I already mentioned it to you guys about the back. The back itself, the only diff, uh, changes is you get a reduction in the headroom space wise, but other than that, everything's still the same itself lah. So yeah, uh, my first impression of before getting into this hatchback version of the Master Three is it's going to be the same Master like I know itself, but I am completely wrong itself that so yeah but other than that uh that's all I say for my video itself if you guys enjoy the video itself do turn the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click the subscribe and listen to other videos and with that I'll see you guys in my next video